Hi everybody! Welcome back to Geek Gossip and your host that has one hell of a cold. Again. You are into recording guitar. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> like they did it in the good old days. No rubber thingies from the Far East. No emulation. No simulation. No guitar rig. A speaker and a microphone. Good guy! To me that means you probably have an amp, a speaker, and then you started googling what sort of microphone you should get. Googling for microphones suited to record a guitar cap gives you two groups of results. One group is sophisticated and incredibly expensive studio contents and ribbon mix. And the other group is dynamic mix, which seems to consist of only one microphone, and this is the Shure SM57. Hmm. Well, the Shure SM57 seems to be around since the late 18th century and is some sort of an omnipresent El Cheapo solution for recording guitar signals. Omnipresent, yeah. I actually feel a bit haunted because I also have one. Actually, there's more than just one manufacturer producing microphones that are able to record a guitar signal, and one of them is Audix. And Trios Music, the German retailer, was kind enough to send me one of their Audix i5 dynamic microphones. Yes, the Audix i5 is built to record something that is pretty much uh, too loud, like a snare, my daughter, and your guitar cap, because it can handle sound pressure levels up to 140 decibels. Hooray! And I think I like the look, isn't it? Ah, strikingly black. Ah, nice basket. And uh, okay, I'm just. Uh, I'm, and it's a good deal broader than the SM57. And it's a good deal shorter than the SM57. Do we care? Yes, we do. Because if you're recording like me with an ISO cabinet, every inch less is good. Because if you want to angle your microphone in a cramped space, the longer the mic the less angle you can get. I guess the most important of a microphone is uh, the sound. Um, the short of it, the sound of the Audix i5 is brighter and it has more low end. And how does that translate into music? We will check. That's what this video is about, by the way. You might want to know how I record this. Mesa Boogie Subway Blues, Grossman Audio ISO Cabinet in a different room, actually. Those two microphones, two SPL Track 1, microphone preamps, and then into a TC Electronic reverb unit. Hmm? I'm going to switch back and forth between those two microphones. And uh, that's it. First thing will be basic rock sounds. Well, or what I think is a basic rock sound. And for this, I will use my Eminence Legend 1218 speaker. Pretty heavy and pretty <coughs> mellow, actually. And the microphone will be right here. Grill level. Halfway between everything. Plugged in and seated, and the first thing I'm going to play is something, yeah, sloppy, slappy, finger styly stuff. Middle position, and this is the setting. Little bit of gain, not too much. Travel back off, middle back off, a little bit of bass, and the fat switch is engaged. The Audix first. <laughs> Well, nothing to complain about, I guess. Good troubles. And the bass. Bok, bok, bok. Sure. And the bass. Okay, there's quite a bit of more mid-range in the Shure, and the Audix has more top end. Ah, surprise, surprise. Translate into more honkiness on this guitar for single notes. And more forgiving sound on the top strings. Not too much. The Audix is... More hollow, more precise, and more ringing. Wide and open, as opposed to the Shure. Which is sort of boxy. This mellow whoop 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 is a little bit harder to get with the Audix. More hollow, but actually vice versa.
the sure. Rack. Hmm, quite the opposite, I guess. The next thing that I have prepared is some uh, noise on the neck pickup and actually split. This is more like a single coil. And this is the setting. The fat switch, again, even less gain, more treble, less middle, and no bass. <laughs> okay, I almost know. The audix first again. <laughs> Very open and, yeah, a little bit trashy, but that's my playing. And the Shure. Uh, again, huh? More pleasant mid-range, less top end, and a little bit of cork on the bass strings. Audix again. Just my taste would be this. Bass response is preferred to. But again, the difference is clear. It's almost like vintage, modern. Older, newer, uh, blanket over the speaker and no blanket. And the blanket over my voice. Now we're talking rock music. And that means humbuckers again and more gain, less treble. Way more mids, a little bit less bass. And that means this is a very fat sound through a very fat speaker, through a very fat amp. And we're going to check how both mix handle this. And the Audix is first with the neck pickup. <laughs> nice, good articulation on the bass. Well, not breaking apart, actually. The sure. And the bass strings. Ooh. Well, articulation on the bass strings actually goes out of the window, and again we have this boxiness, this heavy mid range, but it helps a bit for this. <laughs> High string, noodling, it's a little bit more forgiving, more classic. There's a voice to it, huh? I prefer the Shure for this type of sound. Over the Audix. Bridge. This is full and open against the Shure. <laughs> Better or worse, I don't know. Again, it's this old word, this modern, it's this blanket over the speaker boxiness versus wide and open sound. Use it according to taste. Actually, I preferred the Shure for neck soloing and I prefer everything rhythm with the Audix. And whenever it comes to bass strings, the tracking of the Audix is better to my ears. Now for more modern styles, huh? the modern type of rock music that <laughs> I'm trying to eek out of a Mesa Boogie Subway Blues. Well, not to me. Which means we are going to switch to Bridge Humbucker and different setting. Um, Fat Switch is alright. 
Oh, more gain. Treble. No mids and less bass. And excessive amounts of noise because I'm sitting right in front of my computer monitor. The Audix is first with some palm mutes. Uga, uga, uga. <laughs> Sounds all right. Now the sure. Well, this is switching between today and the 70s. A little bit, isn't it? There's this rock rock, a uh, compressed, squeezed frequency range for the bass strings on the sure, and the audix goes boop, 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 boop on the bass strings. Um, check again. Uh, like this. The sure. I can see sound engineers are running for their EQs. This is not the territory for the sure, I guess. A solo, maybe? We're still with the sure, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with the Onyx. This is Modern Weather's Vintage. This is the voice of rock and roll that we learned through all these years. <laughs> I'm 40 by now, so I know the sound. And now the Audix. Okay, this is where things start to get incomparable. Switching between the 70s and today. Queen, life, back in those days. And then, fats, sitting right beside you. So much for this rock thing. Um, now I'm gonna eke out some more treble of the signal to get jangly jangly sounds, which means same speaker. Microphones closer in, angled and aiming at the middle. And this is the setting. Bright switch for a change, very little volume, quite a lot of treble, less middle and almost no bass. The Audix is first. <laughs> This really jumps out of your speaker. Now for the sure. Ah, uh, I think I like both. There's more honkiness with the sure, which is a good thing if you play a guitar like this. It emphasizes the character. Some trashy chords on the neck pickup. Uh, the Audix is first, again. Especially the low end. Has a nice resolution to it. And now the Sure. Yeah, this is how they did it in the old days. Maybe some more, yeah, relaxed, peaceful sound. Neck pickup again, and uh, the Audix is first. I like this. and ringing and now for the sure ah. this is uh, a little bit like I swapped speakers from a very big one to a very small one audience again
Again, if I was into honk, I'd go for the sure, and if I was into ring, I'd go for the orange. Okay, I think you got the message. More treble, more low end, less mid range for the Audix. Now I'm gonna put up a setting where things might backfire. For this, I need a Gelesian G12 Century Vintage, which is a neodymium speaker, and it has, uh, let's put it like this, a little bit more treble. And the microphone placement will be a little bit further away, right on top of the center, aiming like this at the opposite wall. Hmm, and you have guessed it, this is the setting. We have the bright switch, we have a good deal of gain, treble, almost no mids, and a good amount of bass. And to make things even worse in terms of treble, I dialed in a good deal of treble on the EQs of my microphone preamps. Huh? Bridge humbucker, the Audix first, ringing mode. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Same thing with the Shure. Now things turn around a bit because these top strings can get a little bit nasty on the Audix and the Shure is a little bit more forgiving. A little bit, I said. Solo up the neck with the Audix and a neck pickup. <laughs> and with a sure. <laughs> Let me put it like this. In such an unpleasant environment, the Shure is actually a tad better for my taste. Audix. Yeah, enough of this. I hope you use your own ears when listening to these examples, because your opinion is the only one that matters. Mine is completely irrelevant, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Those two microphones, built for the same application, have little in common. I'm actually quite surprised how much of a difference swapping a microphone can make. This is almost like changing your complete setup. The difference of swapping pickups in your guitar is not that big, at least to my ears. Um, Better or worse? Just rewind and listen again. This is the Mr. Chime and the Mr. Ring. And this is the Mr. Mellow and Vintage. This is the Uga Uga Hard Rock Heavy Metal. And this is the Carlos Santana Eric Clapton stuff. This is, oh, my guitar is so muddled and muffled. And this is, ah, oh, everything is so piercingly bright and, oh. Solution. So which one should you get? Given the omnipresence of the SM57, you might already have one. If you already have one, get one of these and mix them. This is the best solution for me. Vintage, modern -y. <laughs> Sweeten according to taste. If you're on a budget and you don't know which microphone to get, uh, choose your playing style, listen to your own amp, and then choose. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to this channel. And for more videos and information on Guitar Gear, check out geargossip.com. Um, goodbye. <laughs>